I never thought that I'd be talking about a ghost whisperer on my natural health channel, but the world's a strange place, and here we are talking about Anthony William. He calls himself the medical medium, and he claims to talk to a spirit. But it's good, so don't fear it. It gives him advice, when he's near it, on things like magnesium stearate for constipation so you can clear it. But don't laugh at and don't jeer it. His advice, he needs you to hear it because he's definitely not running a massive con operation to defraud the public by telling half-truths and capitalizing on silly health trends. He wouldn't do that. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis, and I've spent 10 years and thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. On the latest episode of my Q&A show, I addressed the topic of Anthony William, or the medical medium as he calls himself. And I wanna share with you what I said to my Q&A audience. Because if you're currently taking health advice from Anthony William, or you're just curious who he is, it's really important to analyze his claims with a little bit of common sense. So I'm gonna play that clip from my Q&A show now. In it, I read the question, and then I spend a few minutes addressing the topic. So without further ado, roll film. Question two comes from Angie Turner. Milk and other dairy products are on the no-no list if you want to stay healthy. Please Google Anthony William. He has been around for many, many years and knows his stuff. Gluten, soy, dairy, and eggs all feed bad bacteria in the body. This is unfortunately fact. This is unfortunately false. Angie, I appreciate the comment and I just want to address it here. Anthony Williams is a con artist. This is very important and I don't want anybody to fall for his lies. But first, a little bit about him. He calls himself the medical medium, and that's his website, his medical medium. As in like someone who communes with spirits, you know, that kind of a medium, not like a medium french fry. He talks to what he calls the spirit of compassion, and it's a spirit who's been talking to him since he was just a little boy. He correctly diagnosed his grandmother with cancer when he was four. That's what he says. I don't know why we shouldn't believe him. He's become somewhat well-known for his celery juice cleanse that he came up with and actually wrote an entire book on it. Somehow, I don't know how much information you can make on um, drinking 16 ounces of fresh celery juice every day. Celery isn't the most delicious thing, so it sounds kind of unpleasant to drink 16 ounces of it. Plus, you'd think that you could get like the same amount of nutrition from one ounce of kale juice. Like, why celery? It's not the most nutritious food. There's plenty of better things for you and tastier things for you. He's also a four times number one New York Times bestselling author for his books, including the one about celery juice somehow. Okay, so I mentioned that he's a con artist. Let me lay down a few preliminary facts. First off, we need to recognize that the best lies, the best con jobs are based on truth. The best lies are 90% true and then there's just 10% false. So what they do, con people, they, they tell you a truth, a truth, a truth, a lie, and then a truth. As you're thinking through it, you go, oh yeah, that makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, really? But then he already said something else that makes sense. So you just kind of pass by it and you go, well, he's so right in these other things that he must be right in the lie. No. And while we're laying the preliminary information, the second thing I wanna talk about is his credentials. What are his credentials? Did he go to school? Did he study under some academy or research some information? Has he had a clinical practice? All of these are pretty much no's. His credentials are as follows. He claims to have diagnosed his grandmother of cancer when he was only four years old. Wow, Hollywood loves him. If Hollywood <laughs> loves him, then I am highly suspicious. I don't tend to agree with anything that the crazy people in Hollywood think. And credential number three, he talks to a spirit. Now, I'm not saying that spirits aren't real. I actually have done a cursory study of angels and demons and their interaction with humans. I'm actually a very spiritual, religious person, but I can tell you something for sure, or at least 99% for sure. Anthony Williams does not talk to a spirit. There's three possibilities for who Anthony Williams is. He's either telling the truth, he's crazy, or he's a liar. Well, I can tell you he's not telling the truth because a spirit would not 
be wrong. It would never be wrong. In his practice, he goes on like this radio show, right? And he has people call in, tell him their problems, and he will diagnose them of their problem over the phone. And he'll tell them what they need to do to get better. And oftentimes they do see some benefits. He's, he's right a lot of the time. His website claims that he's almost always right, or he's usually right. If it was a spirit that was telling him what's wrong with these people, he would never be wrong because a spirit is not bound by the confines of sensory information. They instantly gather information about the physical world when they focus on it. So that's why I say a spirit would never incorrectly diagnose someone and would never give them information that would not work. So whether it's a spirit or I would say an angel or a demon talking to him, it can't be because they wouldn't be wrong. So he's not telling the truth, which means that we're left with two other possibilities. He's either crazy or he's a liar. I don't think he's crazy though, because crazy people don't turn their delusions into highly lucrative business models. He has created an empire to make him money. Whether it's on his website, he's got a whole long list of approved food products that you can buy. I will bet you $1 billion that every time you purchase a product on his website, he's getting a kickback through affiliate marketing. Or he's making people believe that he's, you know, some kind of brilliant um, profit and he's getting money when people buy his books or when they pay him to consult on their health. You know, these crazy Hollywood lunatics pay him <laughs> to do a, a seance or whatever. So no, crazy people don't turn their delusions into highly successful lucrative business models. Which leaves us with one possibility. He's a liar, he's a con man. And the proof of this is really in the pudding. He offers esoteric knowledge. Basically, you know, secret knowledge. You can't know how to be healthy without him, without his connection to the spirit of compassion. Oh, this blessed gift that Anthony Williams is to the world. If it weren't for him, our, our way, our truth, our life, our great prophet, Anthony William, we would not be able to know how to be healthy. Thank you, Anthony William, for your con contribution to the world. You are such a wonderful person. Um, yeah, I don't think so. He's building a cult following through this, making people think that they can't know how to be healthy without his help. You can also see that he's a con man. He's you know creating a cult following because on his website, he doesn't substantiate any of his claims. He'll say dumb stuff like, <laughs> Eggs feed viruses. Now, not only is that just one of the, you know, on its face dumbest things I've ever heard, because no matter what theory you take of viruses, um, it, it, eggs don't feed them. <laughs> and he doesn't substantiate it. He doesn't provide evidence. He doesn't provide external links for any of his information. There was not a single external link that I found on his website, which means that he's not trying to empower people with giving them knowledge on learning how they can take their health into their hands. He's simply providing proclamations. He's not teaching, he's proclaiming. And lastly, I want to reread Angie's comment and kind of go through and show how it's phrased kind of suspiciously. So Angie, if you're listening, just pay attention for a second. What did you say? You said milk and other dairy products are on the no-no list if you want to stay healthy. First off, condescension. That's a very condescending way to phrase that to kind of put us in a inferior position right? Oh no, I don't know what being healthy means. And then you say, please Google Anthony William. He has been around for many, many years and knows his stuff. An appeal to authority. Anthony William, he's the only way to know about being healthy. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be in the dark. And then you say, gluten, soy, dairy, and eggs all feed bad bacteria in the body. This is unfortunately fact. No, Angie, this is unfortunately unsubstantiated claims that are very outlandish. What evidence does he provide for this? Does he have, I don't know, maybe a, uh, a degree from some school? No, I don't think you need a degree from a school to, you know, be smart, but maybe he has practical experience. Did he run like a health clinic? Has he treated a lot of patients himself? Um, no, hmm. Maybe he has no credentials. Maybe his only credential is that he claims to talk to a spirit, and as I've shown, it can't be a spirit based on his own words. I do have to give Anthony William a little bit of credit though, because 
Talking to a spirit is actually a pretty good way to build a cult following over health stuff, so... Who knows, maybe in the future I'm gonna be talking to a spirit. Bravo, bravo, yes, well done, Dennis. Top quality, for sure. That's about all I have to say about Anthony William right now. Like I said, that clip is from my Q&A show. If you've got a question that you want answered, send it in an email to dennisfromscratch at gmail.com, and who knows? you might be next on the show. Otherwise, if you're still here, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for kitchen tools, nutritious cooking, and healthy living. That's about it.